How you doing guys? Last night I took a ride just north of my location to pick these two little guys up. A, they are, the maroon one is a Clinton B1290 and the red one is a model 498. The 498 designation came in I believe the late 60s, early 70s for Clinton. Basically a model 498 is a B1290. Both of these would be considered an original style motor for an RJ, uh, starting in about 58. But the earlier Clintons, which were 1200s and A1200s for the RJ35s, are basically exactly the same. The only difference is, starting in 58 with the B series of the Clinton motors, those motors were balanced. The motors prior to the 1200 and the A1200 were not balanced motors. So they were high vibration motors. Um, the red one is actually NOS and was the whole reason why I went to go meet up with the guy in order to get that motor. Um, he was asking a fair amount for it. I mean, reasonable, you know, it was under a hundred dollars, but it is NOS. The gas tank is perfectly clean. I pulled the dipstick and shined a light down inside the crankcase and it, you could tell it's just perfectly clean inside. Um, his father supposedly worked at Springfield Lawnmower in Springfield, Massachusetts, and these motors came out of that, out of that shop. Um, he still had the box for the NOS motor, but it was so destroyed. It was just nothing. It was just all shredded. And as you can tell, the motor is pretty, it's got a lot of shop dirt on it. Um, but just for the non-believers, here's the original air, air cleaner, safety view. The later models, model ones were a uh, black, not clear. Perfectly clean. Not a stitch of oil has ever been on that motor. Um, same thing with the inside, just a little bit of dirt, but you can tell there was never anything inside that air filter. So I looked at that also. I took a look at the motor. Um, one has an original Clinton muffler, which is kind of cool because this is the exact same muffler that the RJs had. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. I've sold a couple of these NOS mufflers for pretty big money. Um, let me put it this way. I could sell this, this muffler for about 30 bucks to a collector, and that's basically just under half of what I paid for this motor. Uh, still has the Cosmoline crap on the uh, crankshaft. There's no marks on the crankshaft where there was a set screw ever. The threads are mint. Um, it's got an iron oil pan. The later ones had uh, aluminum. Actually, when the company was sold to the Singapore company and they became Newton engines, not Clinton's, but here's Clinton Engine Corp. Um, you know, it's dusty, it's dirty. It's got ridiculous compression. <laughs> I mean, ridiculous. Um, so that's a real, that was a real nice score right there. Real happy with that. Um, don't know if I'll use it on the RJ project, but it's definitely going to go back in the shed on my shelf with motors. This motor, he basically just threw in. It is a B1290. It is used, obviously. This one's not new. But it, again, this one here has really good compression. I mean, you can hear it popping over there. You know, you can hear it. So it's pretty. It's got really good compression. Has spark. Um, the oil in it's real nice and clean. The crankshaft's not all buggered up. Um, it must have been like on a generator or something to that effect, because the the way the governor's set up is just wide open throttle. And the only issue I found with it is that the throttle shaft is loose in the carburetor. So the carburetor is a little worn out, but the valve inside there looks real clean. Um, again, dusty, dirty. The shop that these things were in were, was pretty, not the most sanitary place on the face of the planet. Um, it is, there's the B, the 129. So it is a B1290. So we know it's a full horsepower. This is the same exact motor, just that it's designated as a 498. Um, so here's the dilemma. I just finished that Kohler motor in my last video for the RJ because I wanted to do a Kohler power one. But that RJ is supposed to have a Clinton motor on it. So now that I got a couple of real nice Clintons, debating on whether or not I'm going to 
put a Clint motor on that tractor. I think I might actually do this one right there. I don't know. What do you guys think? Give me some ideas. Should I go with the original style Clinton? Or should I just go ahead with that Kohler motor I finished? All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.